Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this Realme XT. And this is supposed to be the first smartphone in the world that comes with the 64 megapixel camera. And yes, this one also has that quad camera setup. So let's open this up. And as you can see, uh, it uh, also says that it has that VOOC fast charging and a 64 megapixel uh, uh, camera, again, that quad camera setup. And uh, looks like it also has the in-display fingerprint scanner. So I'm assuming that the screen will be AMOLED screen. And uh, this is a review on it, guys. So I don't know the pricing or anything. It's supposed to launch in India around the September prime uh, time frame. But again, no idea about what will be the pricing. And uh, I would say this is uh, a mixture of the Realme 5 Pro and the Realme X. Uh, but it has that 64 megapixel camera. Anyways, uh, this is what it is. So let's open up the box and have a look. And uh, we have this, uh, let's say some uh, paperwork and all those things. And guys, we get uh, this uh, TPU case with this one and uh, some paperwork and all those things. Uh, so let's keep that to the side. And here is the handset itself. I believe this is a bit white uh, color one. We also have it in the blue, I believe. Yes, this is the white one. Not exactly pure white, but yeah, shade of white. Let me keep that to the side and uh, I'm assuming the same accessories, USB Type-C, I'm hoping. Uh, what is it? USB, I'm assuming USB Type-C. Yes, USB Type-C. And uh, this will be the VOOC uh, 3, a fast charger that you're getting in the box. So that's what we get in the box. Let me keep that to the side. And uh, this is the handset uh, itself. Uh, and um, as you can see, this ha also has that drop down notch design. And let me give you a physical overview. On the top, uh, uh, we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone. And um, the Realme team has said that this is not polycarbonate, this is actually glass. In fact, Gorilla Glass uh, 5 on the back as well as on the front. Uh, but this exterior casing is still. Uh, polycarbonate. Uh, we have the power on off button over here, 3.5 mm headphone jack, uh, USB type C port and this will be the speaker. And volume rockers and SIM tray. Let's look at the SIM tray configuration on this one. What did they do? And uh, glad to see that they have a triple slot. So again, that is actually a nice thing. So let's put this back. And the highlight of the show is this uh, 64 megapixel uh, camera. It's a uh, Samsung sensor. And uh, we also have a wide angle lens that's eight megapixel. And uh, then this two megapixel is for depth portrait. And lastly, we also have a macro lens. Again, that's two megapixel. So that's the configuration. And let me do one thing. Let's just try to power this on. I hope it has a charge. And by the time it actually boots up and I set it up, let me give you a configuration overview. The Realme XT is having a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED Full HD Plus screen. It's protected by Gorilla Glass 5. Uh, in terms of RAM, we get four, six or eight gigabytes of RAM and storage will be 64 or 128 gigabytes. It's powered with the Snapdragon 712 octa-core processor based on 10 nanometer process. And it also has the Adreno 616 GPU. Moving to the camera, we had a quad camera setup. The main camera is a 64 megapixel F 1.8 aperture. And uh, then we have an eight megapixel that's a wide angle lens then we have a 2 megapixel for depth and portrait and again a 2 megapixel for macro lens moving to the front facing camera it's a 16 megapixel uh, shooter and it also has an in display fingerprint scanner and a 4000 milliamp hour battery which supports VOOC fast charging so guys, I've just finished setting up this device and uh, this is actually having a, a AMOLED uh, screen, uh, a 6.4 inch uh, AMOLED screen on this one. And there is some junk installed uh, as you can see, but uh, let's see uh, if we can remove it. For example, like this, yes, you can uninstall some of the junk where that is actually pre-installed on this one. And uh, uh, this is color over six so you do have this app tray and again this also has the new icon layout uh, if you uh, notice uh, earlier color was had that square once and if you go over here and if we go to about the phone uh, as you can see it's running on android version 9 that is spy out of the box and uh, color os is version 6.01 and guys uh, this is the highest end variant that comes with 8 gigabytes of ram as you can see and uh, this is the 128 gigabyte variant and out of that 128 about 115 gigabytes is available to you but i don't think so the storage should be an issue on this one because we also have a dedicated micro sd card slot so even if you offer for the lower end variant that comes with 4 gigabytes of ram and uh, 64 gb of storage i feel storage should not be a issue anyways uh, and this is typical color OS that you can see so that's uh, familiar stuff and uh, I would say let's uh, uh, look at the camera obviously the camera is important part but let's also look at the in-display fingerprint scanner it's over here as you can see and uh, yes it works let me just show you again 
over here it comes and it's a fast in display fingerprint scanner as you can see really quick uh, we also have an option of face unlocking it asks you to enroll uh, while you're setting up i didn't do that but you can also do that if you like the face uh, unlocking because it has that notch design uh, so that's what it is and now let's look at the uh, camera on this one it has that quad uh, rear facing camera so yes we have that 64 megapixel main camera that's f1.8 by m8 by samsung and we also have the wide angle lens so let's uh, look at it and uh, the interface is same uh, as you can see we have that 1x and 2x digital zoom we also have 5x uh, but i don't think so you should use that and for wide angle you have to click over here and now as you can see you get that wide angle shot this is the regular shot 1x and this is 2 and mind you guys this is in like pretty low lighting i'll uh, show you some sample shots later on and we also have the portrait mode on this one for the depth shots and the front facing i believe is a 16 megapixel uh, we have the beauty mode enabled i'll just put it in normal much better colors this way as you can see and obviously this will also have the portrait mode and again it'll have the beauty mode so i'll disable it uh, in the preview uh, i'll just accept it it looks actually good these shots but let me do one thing let me actually take some more sample shots so that you can uh, get a better idea regarding the camera so these samples were taken with the rear facing camera and as you can see the pictures come out really good but i noticed that uh, the saturation level is a little bit on the higher side these are some of the close-up uh, macro shots that i took again as you can see they came out really good also because of the f 1.8 aperture as you can see shots uh, come out to be really good and again in terms of colors i would say it was good this is regular this is 2x uh, zoom and this is that 5x uh, uh, digital zoom that i have used we also have the wide angle lens this is the regular lens and uh, this was taken in the wide wide angle uh, mode another example uh, regular mode and uh, this was with the wide angle lens also now moving to semi indoor conditions it did perform better than i expected as you can see for these samples and now these were taken in completely artificial lighting and even in completely artificial lighting i do feel that the performance uh, was actually pretty good it ex exceeded my expectations now moving to human subjects in completely artificial light this was with the wide angle lens and this was again regular mode and this was with the portrait mode also in completely artificial lighting as you can see it did perform much better than i expected these were taken with the front facing camera and this is in the portrait mode of the front facing camera also the front facing camera performance as you can see is actually really good so guys that's it for now for the unboxing and a first look at this realme xt so what do you guys think about this realme xt with that uh, 64 megapixel uh, rear facing camera and that quad camera setup uh, anyways guys uh, that's it for now for uh, this video if you guys have any other questions uh, um, do let me know in the comment section below we don't know the india pricing yet because it's supposed to launch sometime in the middle of uh, september uh, anyways guys um, what do you guys think about this realme xt uh, do let me know in the comment section below uh, and if you guys are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys